Today I'm going to show you how to make snowmen out of salt and pepper shakers. The snowmen you see here, the first snowmen I made were here and you'll see that they're a little different. These snowmen were made from dollar store salt and pepper shakers. You can buy two salt and pepper shakers for a dollar so it makes it a really cheap craft to do. Um, and then all you need is the styrofoam head, some decorations, some snow for the inside. Then once I um, started uh, looking and shopping for more salt and pepper shakers, I went to some secondhand stores, some antique stores. And as you can tell, I got some different shapes and sizes and I really liked the way these turned out. So if you have the extra time and for a little extra money, I do recommend that you go to some uh, antique stores in the area and purchase uh, salt and pepper shakers that way. Um, but basically all you need for any of these is just uh, supplies that you may actually already have on hand. Some of the scarves I made out of just cutting up uh, fabric. Um, some of them were more of like a felt. I used some ribbon. This is just a piece of a fabric from an old uh, shirt that I had that I cut up and then just various different gems and stuff that I had. So the ones I'm going to show you today, these were two salt and pepper shakers I got for five dollars in an antique store. So it's still a really reasonable price but I just like the shapes of the older salt and pepper shakers better than the dollar store brand. The heads that I use for most of my salt and pepper snowmen are one and a half inch and I also found them in a variety pack at the dollar store. I have also discovered at the dollar store um, these little snowflake gems. So definitely go to the dollar store for a lot of your, your craft supplies. You'll find that um, they do have a lot of them there. Now for the eyes, you'll notice on the first set I did paint and this was just with a squeeze bottle of paint and I didn't really like the way they came out. They came out okay, so if that's what you wanna use, if that's what you have on hand, that works. But what I found to be cuter were um, little push pins. Now, uh, you can get black push pins, which some of them were made with, um, but the push pins that I got were yellow. So all I did was took a little black paint and painted the black, the yellow push pins black to make their eyes. Their noses are made out of uh, toothpicks. So again, all I did was took a little bit of orange paint, craft paint, and painted the ends of the toothpicks for their noses. So one toothpick makes two noses. And then I had different ribbons on hand. So I'm gonna show you um, how I did that and pom-poms for the top if you wanna add a pom-pom. Uh, you'll need a pair of wire cutters, a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, or regular glue. And I really like the uh, tacky glue. I think it works better than an Elmer's glue. Um, but if you have Elmer's glue on hand, that would work as well. And then some different ribbons uh, that I just had some scraps of. Um, and the snow, which we'll put inside. And this I also got at the dollar store. So the first thing you wanna do is add some snow to your salt and pepper shakers. I do not the whole thing. I only like to add about halfway. It can be a little messy. So make sure you do it over a table. And you just wanna add so much to each bottle. The next thing you want to do is hot glue. I like to hot glue the uh, head to the salt and pepper shaker. So you just want to run some glue around the top and then secure your head. So for the first one, I'm just gonna take some ribbon. I really liked this ribbon because it has snowflakes on it. And I'm just gonna tie it into a square knot.
for her scarf. And cut it off. All right, so once you tie the ribbon, then I'm just going to angle my ribbon and cut it at the right angle so it's got a pretty edge. Just fold it in half and cut an angle like that. And I'm gonna do uh, silver and gold. So I just had a gold snowflake and I put another little sequin. I'm gonna glue that on top and then put a third one to layer it. And I'm gonna glue a pom-pom on the cap and then put silver buttons down the side. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, I'm gonna hot glue the pom-pom to the top because I want that really secure. And I'm also gonna hot glue the large snowflake to the ribbon. And then the rest, I'm gonna use the tacky glue. So I'm just gonna glue, put a little dot of hot glue on this. And glue that to this. So I'm gonna use my tacky glue and just put a dot of glue and add my second layer. And then add another dot of glue and add my gemstone. Then for the buttons, I'm just going to do four dots of glue. And add my gems. The next thing I'm gonna do is add the hat and I'm gonna hot glue that to the head. And I always like mine off to the side as a side angle. So just add some glue and stick it on. The next thing I'm gonna do is just add a little piece of gold ribbon around the hat. So just take your tacky glue and coat the ribbon. And wrap it around, make sure your seam is in the back so you don't see it. Now for his eyes, if you're gonna use the push pins, I take a pair of wire cutters and I cut them so that they're smaller because you don't wanna push that whole thing into the head. So just cut the ends off. And then same thing with the toothpick, you just wanna break it off so you can push that in. And then you're just gonna take the eyes and the nose and push them into the head like so. So for my next snowman, I used this pretty gem ribbon and I just cut a piece and hot glued it in the back. And the neck is, um, you want it indented, so I'm just gonna take a piece of silver ribbon 
and tie it around the neck to bring that in. So after I tied the bow, I centered the bow, and then I hot glued a snowflake. And then on that snowflake, I'm gonna put another bit of glue, and I'm gonna glue a clear gem to the snowflake. And then to the hat, I hot glued the pom-pom, and then I just glued little gems around the hat. And now we're gonna hot glue this to her head. And then you'll notice the eyes that I pushed in, I did sideways as compared to the other eyes. So it looks like she's tilting her head a little. I think that that's a cute touch too. So that's basically it. You have two snowmen out of salt and pepper shaker.